Today we continue with part 3 of our want many and many to one a hibernate with Spring Boot uh, complete tutorial. And today we are going to configure H2 database. In case you don't know, H2 database is an in memory database. And if you want to read more about it or you want to play around with it a little, uh, look at the description box. You'll see a link to where I uh, explain or where I gave a tutorial on the H2 database. So right now we are going to be configuring H2 database for our application. So there are basic steps you need to follow. For instance, the first step is to add the H2 dependency. So instead of just talking, uh, let's go do it. Let's go add the H2 dependency first. So to add a dependency that you did not add when you build, when you started building the application, you simply go to Maven repository. Uh, let me see. So you simply go to Maven repository so this is my website in case you search for one to some things you can come here and search so maven rep repository is in mavenrepository.com uh, mavenrepository.com again i would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed click on the subscribe button below in that way you kind of motivate me and also if you have any questions or recommendations just let me know in the comment box below this video so just type hey to hey to database and press enter and then it comes out with this. Uh, take the first one and then um, take this one and then copy it and then you are going to paste it in the pom.xml file on your application in the dependency section right here. It's just here, paste it. Um, so somehow you need to just change the scope to memory and also remove the version. You can leave the version, you may not, but the scope is gonna be memory, okay? So now the H2 database, we have the dependency, go ahead to save it. And the next thing you want to do is to add the H2 parameters, database parameters. For instance, we want to enable H2 console. H2 console is a graphical user interface in the browser that allows you to manage uh, the H2 database. Then you specify the platform and also the the um, the H2 database name. So in this case, I want to give it the name Social DB. Actually, I copied this to my clipboard. So let me copy to the clipboard, and then we go back to the application to paste it. All right. So at this point, I'm going to go to Application Properties, Application Properties, and just paste it in there. Right. So at this point, you're, you've configured H2 database. We can actually try to run this application to see how it goes. So let's run it to see. I'm going to save everything and I'm going to just run it. Now, the reason it's not going to run or it's going to end with errors is because we've not actually done the mappings, uh, the one to many and many to one mapping. Now, if you look at where we are at this point, you will see that we are at this point, uh, part four, database, okay, configuring H2 database, that's where we are. Let's now first do a database initialization, kind of let's populate the database with some data, and then we move on to part six, part five, part six, and seven. So the next part, we are going to write some SQL query, uh, queries to populate the database with some data. And again, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. If you have any question, Please leave it in the comment box below.